I just wanted to do a quick demonstration. Um, I finally got my printed circuit board exposure box done. Um, most of my projects uh, use boards four by three inches or less, and the pre-sensitized boards that I get uh, are four by three, and then you know I'll cut them if needed. Um, so when I designed the box. Um, got the project enclosure. This is a plexiglass window um, and a pre-sensitized board 4x3 fits in here like a glove. Um, you got a power status and a uh, exposing uh, warning LED. Um, an Arduino Nano which I'll show in a minute acts as a timer and control. Um, these buttons here are to uh, set up and start uh, the exposure. This is a set up or start button. Uh, these two buttons select minutes and seconds. And this is a clear or cancel uh, or abort button. Uh, we're just running off a DC power supply. 63 ultraviolet LEDs, um, two different circuit boards, well, actually three. That's a 4x3 board for the LEDs. I don't know if you can see up inside until I open it. But the Arduino and the other circuitry um, for the timer and buttons and switching of the uh, light board is done there. And then there's a small panel for the for the buttons but the idea is to lay down your mask after you've used something like Eagle CAD to develop your uh, to design your circuit and I don't have a board handy but then you would just place your pre-sensitized board on top turn it on the unit uh, the blue light is just a power indicator and it is wanting me to press setup so now you can set uh, your minutes and seconds I have found for the 4x3 boards uh, I, had to, I had, to, had to try a few boards but the best exposure time was 2 minutes 30 seconds but we'll just set it for uh, I don't know, 15 seconds for this demonstration. And then it'll calculate this all in seconds. Count down, and at the end it'll shut everything down. So you can set this and walk away and not worry about overexposing and get even uh, consistent results with, it, with each exposure. So you'll hit start. and now your board would be exposing. Um, very intense light, very evenly distributed. I uh, do need to go and tie a few more cables off to the side so that they're not blocking any light. There, we're all done. And if you want to do another, you just hit start. Uh, so, turn it off, pull the power plug. take a look inside um, I'll try to get these Eagle file schematics and possibly even the code um, somewhere up on the internet so that others can duplicate this project but as you can see that's just uh, that's both super glued and hot melted in there the window pane is above is your uh, Arduino control board and right here is the breakout uh, panel for the buttons I've got the light board bolted to the bottom uh, 
metal piece on a thick piece of ABS plastic so it's not going anywhere. Now, like I said, all I need to do is move these wires out of the way. And I may or may not put some walls, some white reflective surfaces around the light board. Number one, to keep, to clean up the look. Uh, second, to make sure the wires are not obstructing uh, the exposure. And it may help intensify and guide the light and make it even more evenly distributed than it already is. So, yeah, it's practically done. A few more little details. Uh, but I've already done one board with it with an exposure time of 2 minutes 30 seconds and out of all the boards I've etched so far using other methods uh, well using the same method but with a light bulb uh, this turned out much better it didn't overexpose um, you can easily overexpose if you're not careful um, you're not talking about 10, 15 minute, 30 minute exposure times, you're talking a few minutes. Uh, a larger board, uh, you might need a little bit more time, but I wouldn't imagine it would be that much more. A smaller board, I would probably only expose it for about two minutes. Uh, so I just wanted to share that. And like I said, I'll try to get the Eagle schematics and circuit board uh, CAD files uh, at some point, so stay tuned.